Hey, Good evening, everybody. Live. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Northern Union Vape Show. Thank you for joining us. Um, I am Ian from Above the Clouds. We have Benny Vapes, who's host, kindly hosting this on his channel. We have Big D Vapes, Danny. And we have James from JP Vape Reviews. How are you doing? And how are you doing? And also, <laughs> we have a very special guest, a man by the name of Josh from Jack Rabbit Vapes. Welcome, Josh. Hi, guys. Welcome, Josh. Welcome. Hello, Thank everybody. you for joining us, mate. We appreciate it. No drama. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Um, right. If we go through, we'll have a find out what, what everyone's vaping on, and what? then I'll come back to the chat, and we'll see who's watching. So, um, yeah. Uh, Benny, would you like to go first? Yeah, we can do. So I am on the Zeus X. Is it Zeus X? Sorry, is it fucking what's this? Aegis X. Aegis X. Of course, I'm doing So I'm on Zeus X with a Kelpie with some Booker Berry Brillies. Booker. Booker. Review will be up for that this week. And I'm also on my nice little beauty that I've picked up Endless Mods. Sexy, that, isn't it? Very sexy. Oil in, I can't say it, Rhodesian chrome black. And mm -hmm. uh, that has got in some, what, did you, can I, Danny, did you nick this up? This sad boy? Uh, I, I may have done, and that's not told uh, you about yeah, it. You have told me <laughs> because I put, I've only put half a nicotine shot in, and it went over the top. I'm like, well, that's fucking, so yeah, I've got this sad boy, is it, I don't know how to say it, Cicadillo? Sapadilla. Sapadilla, no. is it? Trifle? Oh, oh, no, not that one. Sorry, mate. I thought you meant Boy Vape Company. No, I don't know what that one is. It's from Sick Boy, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Sick Boy one. I've got that in there, which is rather nice, to be honest with you. Very that, rich. So that's all I've got at the moment. I've got some other bits, like, but that's it. Uh, okay. To JP. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Um, I'm on the Salmon 2, as usual. On the mech man today, I'm going to have the American flu cured 2013 edition of the um, juice cabins. And I've got a picture of this little beauty, the Vinci X. Oh, and I have got um, a banana off in that. And that's me done for that. Banoffee pie. Who's, who's Banoffee pie by? Who makes that? I have got oh, Jack Rabbits. Mm. <laughs> there you go. And that's me done for that. Banoffee pie. Oh, someone's someone's got the. Hold up. Who's got chat? Who's got YouTube go. live on? Banoffee pie. Someone's got the. Hold up. Hold up. Who's got me? Joshua. Joshua. Drop me, me. Oh, I'll leave it in your cave of the hands here. Good night. Hey. 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 I told you I'd do it. I told you I'd do it. <laughs> so I'll pass it over to Big D. Thank you, JP. Welcome to everybody in chat. Uh, so tonight I'm on the Geek Vape Aegis X and somebody's gone. I think Ian's gone. We've lost Ian. Lost host, We've lost Ian. Oh, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you one job. <laughs> I'm not sure because it's his guest. He fucks off. You know, we've got fucking Chris Bell in here from Empire <laughs> Gate Co. And this is what happens. You know what I mean? He's going to be thinking, what a fucking bunch of wankers. <laughs> <laughs> so while well, he's gone chasing the rabbit, I've got the Aegis X with Ruthless Great Drank Ice. And I've also got the UL Crown 4. Inside that, I've got this bad boy from Jack Rabbit, Banoffee Pie. Not try that, guys. Check it out. <laughs> that is a bad motherfucker. And I've also got, I'm not stopping, guys. We've got more. I've got, is he always coming back? Hey, He's back in the house. Hey, well done, mate. Well done. Good <laughs> job. Are you back in, Ian? <laughs> he can't hear us, can he? Uh, have you took, oh, have you took your tablets? Come on. Come on, it's that hard. A couple of little clicks of a button. 
Anyway, while Ian's trying to get, um, get back in, I'm on the Geekvate Boost, which is probably my favorite device at the moment. I fucking love it. I like the um, different drip tips with the adjustable airflow. Uh, the coils are really good as well. I'm getting like three weeks out of them, which is fucking awesome. Uh, and inside that, I've got ULTD's um, Apple Blow. Is it? Yeah, Apple Blow. Nice fruity salt, 20 milligram. And I've also got, finally, I've got the Smock Fetch, which never lets me down with the RPM coils. And inside that is Slushberry from ULTD. If you've not checked out these guys, they're very nice. They're similar to Riot Squad hybrid socks. So check them out. Um, I'll hand that now over to Mr. Josh from Jack Rabbit. So I'm fairly boring with my stuff, guys. Not like a few uh, heroes over here. So I've got a uh, Geekvag HSX and a Falcon 2. And I do actually also have a Caliburn somewhere, but I've lost it. I thought you was the Nick Soul. <laughs> and I am. It's like, can you remember the Orions? The Lost Vapor Orions? Yeah, they're yeah. Named, that, their name like held them so well, I could never find it. Like, I had it for ages, never found it again. Um, <laughs> and I'm on uh, basically some experimental stuff we've been messing about with, like a raspberry custard ice cream and a strawberry yogurt, which is a bit mm. different. Nice. They are to get out of the yogurt. They're hard to get on point. Yogurts are a nightmare. As I've just started, we've done just started tinkering with them in the last like six to eight weeks. Yeah, they can taste like gone off sometimes. Yeah, they normally come through quite bitter as well to start mm. with, and they steep through. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Could be a new Jack Rabbit flavour, but mm. we shall see. We shall see. Very good. Mm. So is that what you've got then, Josh? Yeah. Yeah, that's all I'm on, guys. Good, so good, good. to me. Ian, back to you, buddy. Nice one. I'm on very little because most of my um, mods and tanks are filled up with juices from Jack Rabbit Vapes to live do a live review on. Mm. But I am on the um, As Vape Micro Pod Kit with uh, my normal scrimpers from Herbal Tides, Fruit Burst, um, everything else. Like I say, I've been on. Oh no, hang on, I'm lying. I'm lying. I've got this. Hang on. Oh yeah, that's um, that in my uh, thingy boost. Boost, that's it. I've got uh, tonics, uh, slow gin and cucumber, which I thought I was going to hate. Like I said on the review, but I actually really like it. Yeah. And that's it for me, really, at, for the moment. Coolio. That's it for me, right? Shall I? Um, I'll do. Let's see who we've got in, shall we? Yeah. Yep. Can do. Okay, so Mick Beavers, welcome. He was the first one here. Um, JP Vape Reviews. Hello, James. You would have a lot of Mick. Above the clouds. <laughs> Don't know who he is. Um, Yami, welcome. Barry Jones, good evening. Uh, who else we got? Chris from Empire Vape Co. Good evening. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, Matt King, Big D Vapes. Big D Vapes. Big D. He's a wanker. Ignore him. I've heard the name. I heard about heard that. Name. Um, <laughs> Chris Hill, who is actually late tonight because Chris Hill is normally like barking at the door, bless him. So welcome, Chris. Um, Dan Barden, good evening to you, sir. Uh, who have I forgotten? Keep going down the list. Red, how are you? Welcome. And I think Debbie, 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 how are you? Hello, Debbie. Debbie. Debbie as well. Sorry. Hey, Jack Rowe, Vet, man. Oh, yeah, he's in there as well. So, yeah, good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us. Awesome. We appreciate it. So, um, Josh, I think, without putting you on the spot too much, <laughs> you should um, maybe give us, tell us about yourself, tell us how you started, tell us, you know, obviously I'm guessing you were a smoker previously. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, how you started the company up, the name, whatever, whatever you want to talk about, really. Just so, thank you. Started smoking uh, quite young, 13, 13, 14 years old. Um, very quickly went on to like 20 a day. Uh, started off on rolling, obviously, rolling tobacco, then moved on to normal cigarettes, and then I ended up on cigars, like full-blown cigars. Yeah, I'm a cigar, man. I want a cigar, man. That, that, <laughs> was my, that was mine. I wanted cigarettes and then straight on the cigars. With the Cuban, though. Friends. I don't know if they quite class, but used to love those bad boys. What, what did you have? Cafe, Cafe Cremes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, With those for ages. Uh, Churchill. Oh, proper ones, proper ones. Yeah, 
I was never man enough, Benny. I was never man enough. Oh no, you got to have a got to have a <laughs> Churchill. And then, uh, yeah, so I obviously decided to quit on quit vaping. And the first flavor I had was Vampire Vapes um, Bubblegum, which was just I absolutely it blew me away to go from cigarettes to then having a flavor in it. I was just I was completely sold. And um, then basically, it, it just slowly turned into a hobby. I mean, we were vaping more and more different stuff. I mean, I used to love Suicide Bunny's Mother's Milk. That was like the daddy. That was and then fresh squeezed. Oh, uh, they're like coil killers, both of them, Josh, aren't they? I mean, they're lovely juices, but they are mm. proper coil killers. What's that? Hey, do you know what? What's um, the Go on, sorry. Uh, element, uh, Mark. Sorry, oh, Ben. Yeah. Oh, killer. But I absolutely was mad for it. And then, like I said, exactly that. It's so interesting you say that. I was on a coil, a uh, cooled fire with an apex tank inside it. And it was the sweetener that was just driving me. I lo absolutely loved it. But coils was just ridiculous. I ended up re-wicking stock coils. I don't know if I've ever done that before, but it doesn't work. <laughs> Put it that way. And, I, I, used to do it. Ones. I did. You know, when there were original ones, yeah. like PVC ones, and then I did them on the Subtap Mini. You could do them. If you took the, clicked all the cotton out, you could feed it all. <laughs> That's what I used to do. In again. So I just couldn't afford to keep up with it with the amount of sweet. Enough is, I mean, honestly, they're beautiful juices. So me and uh, my best friend Torren, uh, we decided to start up. Not start. We weren't starting up a company at all. It was meant to be a hobby. That was all it was supposed to be. Just me and him being stupid, messing about in his bedroom, basically. That's no, how it is. About in his bedroom, <laughs> messing about with e liquid in his bedroom. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we started messing up. Then, like more and more, you know, friends and stuff started trying it. They um, people started really liking it, which was great. Um, we had an awesome strawberry cheesecake, which is definitely not TBD, but it tasted amazing. <laughs> Next and, event, uh, evening. Oh, Mark's here. Hello, Mark. Hello, See, Mark. I've got another live Mark after your one. <laughs> Traumatized <laughs> me. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, so then we made um, they're basically friends and family. They had a little glass bottle, and then I think it's just more and more people like literally we're giving it away to people. And we thought, why not just this was back in the days when like 30 mil was like 18 quid. I mean, yeah. like, we could really do, do with this because I, I was an electrical engineer, uh, like a designer, only an apprentice. I'm, I'm 26 now, so I started at Jarrah when I was 23. So I started up with Torren, um. Just sent to friends and stuff, and then we moved on. We actually made banoffee pie based on my mum's banoffee pies she used to do for me on birthdays and stuff. And that was our first we ever made that actually went out. We went into a, a vape shop in Harrow, uh, which I think's um, owned by Vapor Lights now. If I'm right, though. and anyway, went inside there. They absolutely loved it, but they said, "Look, your designs, your bottles—they look bloody awful." <laughs> right, they look terrible. They really did. They were literally printed off a label printer, like you know, you print off like um, administrators have them just to print off. Oh, like, yeah. One of those beautiful, beautiful. And uh, when they went into the bank shop, they said, Look, smarten it up and we'll, we'll give you a pun. So they're like, Okay, cool. So we managed to buy some labels and uh, literally wiped us out. Well, wiped both our bank accounts out, it was ridiculous. And um, they made them, and more people started liking them, and then um. Just kept saving up on every month, like every spare penny you've got, just going back into buying new stuff. And then we've had this. This is awesome. You'll love this. We had an all a shipment from China of like ten thousand bottles, which we were like, that was just ridiculous for us. Like absolutely unbelievable. All turned up, and we're like, this is it. This is it. We're going to start trying to share share it with, with everybody. And um, then TBD came in. So thanks very much, Mr. TBD guys. Yeah, on. thousand glass bottles, which we ended up selling. I think it's about nine thousand three hundred of them for about four hundred quid. It was just it completely wiped us out, and we <laughs> that's it. This it we're under. That, that's it. We, we tried having a go. We, we made a, probably a negative of about two thousand pound, which is literally everything. If you saw mine and Torrance cars, you loved it. And um, yeah, so we then decided uh, that was it. We were going to pack it all in, but we thought, wow, we've got juice for life now because we've got gallons of the stuff. And uh, I ended up approaching my godfather to help out, who's um, a really, really close, obviously, family member. And he said he'd give us a couple of quid just to try, just give us a pun, really. And it's just grown and grown and grown. We never thought that it would ever turn into anything other than like a cottage industry. You know, we thought we were just going to be yeah. friends and family around Oxford because we're in, we're in Whitney in Oxford. 
kind of ooh. <laughs> the, um, yeah. ooh, ooh. Ooh. I was hoping for some people, but no. Um, and then it just um, yeah, just very very quickly grow. And um, I just, I'm still actually doing my my master's degree at the moment in electrical engineering because I only started full time at Jack Rabbit like, three months ago. So we are still like very infant company, very small. But yeah. um yeah, you, do like seem quite, you do seem quite well established though at the same time, you know, because I've I've known you for quite some time now. And I like the branding, it's very professional looking. It is, it's, um, quite nice, isn't it? it's not over the top, it's not cartoonish at all, but it's, yeah. it, it stands out. It does stand out on from rest, yeah. doesn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, if you got them on your shelf, obviously they do stand out. They're very they're very yeah. good. Oh, thank you very much. We we tried Whenever we designed like a brand or like Rachel Rabbit and Jack Rabbit, my always vision was casino. I was like, if it can fit in a casino, yeah. then it's classy enough not to appeal to children. And you know, you yeah. always hear about this in TV. We all know it's a load of crap, but ultimately, if people say it's going to appeal to children, it's not allowed to. We've got to try. We've got to try. It sounds ridiculous, but if everybody sticks together and we all try keeping products looking as professional as possible, then well, they can't hammer us, can they? I suppose. No. Yeah. So that that was the plan, and yeah, it's, and then I got a lot of phone call from from Greg in Australia. There's a company called Flavor Hype, and he like distributes us out in Australia, in like Spain, Germany. It's just to us, it's just unbelievable yeah. that it ever turned into what it has done. Yeah, and seeing people, it's just you know, when you walk down the street and you see somebody pull out, I don't know, we see someone walking around with a Rachel Rabbit T-shirt on. You're like, it's just mm. yeah, crazy, absolutely crazy. And when you sat in pub and someone goes like that, oh look, starts filling up the tank. Yeah, like, that's my, that's my. Oh, honestly, it's, it blows my mind even now. I mean, we got um, I called up Royal Mail for a business account just to send out stuff for there, and the guy on the phone's like, "Do you guys own Rachel Rabbit as well?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "I love your red current. I bought some this morning in Lincoln." So like, what? How does how does that happen? I just oh, yeah. it blows my mind. Gets me up. Uh, Quite uh, I've got to apologise as well. I've been calling it fucking Jessica Rabbit for the past two days. Oh, well. <laughs> you know, right? I thought it was Jessica Rabbit. We don't want to typing up my tweet to put it out when we were yeah. I put Jessica Rabbit. I thought I better just check that. Oh, <laughs> oh everybody does it. I, same thing. Um, I'm going to get sued one day. I can see it coming. Chris, uh, Chris, Chris Bell from Empire Vape Co. He does his own juice, as you're all well aware of. Um, and he was just saying in chat just then, you know, making juice isn't cheap at all with all your bottles and your labels and your testing. I mean, I think with one of his, I'm sure he said something like 18 months or something to create one of his. Can't remember well, exactly, exactly, but ridiculous. ridiculous. I agree, Chris. I'm glad you understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's getting the right label, though, isn't it? Like you said, you know, you want to stand yeah. out. So even that takes time in itself. But it's so not you, just that, it's your flavour, it's building your flavours, isn't it? Do you know what right. I mean? I like to yeah. say I've mixed, and, you know, you can throw, when I first started, I don't know if it was the same for you when you first started mixing, you think, I can do this. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. I'll get some strawberry, because I like strawberry. Yeah. I, throw, I throw, like, 15 <laughs> minutes strawberry in it, and yeah. then I'll get, so that must be about 20%. Then I'll get another fucking vanilla, yeah. like vanilla, and I'll throw that in at, like, 8%, not bother it, and then you go like that and think, fucking hell, this is shit. Flavors are supposed to blend together to make up yeah. your profile that you're wanting. Uh, so Chris, Chris has just said then uh, that Emily's making one. Um, it should be out in five years. Perfectionism. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the vape, the vape man is currently vaping on your raspberry white cookie. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. What a bloke. Yeah, and Sarah's got that. She's on the Aspire Mulus. We won't talk about Mulus. Evening, Stuart. <laughs> and the Kennedy 28 with uh, some Jack Raffits. Jack, Jack Rabbits? Jack Raffits. Raff 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 oh, awesome, Sarah. Thank you. Uh, oh, you saying that, though, Benny, I can remember my first ever recipe, and I'll never forget it. It was Blueberry Wild by TPA. Oh, yeah. 15% and 15% Capella ice cream, vanilla bean ice cream. <laughs> I was like, it's going to be banging. Like, I love blueberry. I love ice cream. It's going to be awesome. Exactly. Well, you know that when you do an ice cream, because you'd ice cream, well, I, I do it with, I don't know, I'm giving out secrets here, but I, I do um, with a cream in with it. Yeah, got it. So you don't just go full on ice cream flavour. You have to use an ice cream and then bring a cream in with it to make that up. And then you, like I do a rhubarb one, a rhubarb one, and the rhubarb is like your top, but you want the creams and the, 
vanilla ice cream coming out after it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So, I know like, the biggest trick, the one that we learned quite early on was, um, and I said it on to Nature Faith as well, it's um, cactus. I thought, yeah. Yeah. It, um, it makes somehow, put it in about 0.3%. Yeah. And it makes the juice, of a juice dry, put a bit of cactus inside it. Doesn't taste anything like cactus. No, I don't know. There's another one, marshmallow's not actually a flavour by TPA. It's like it's ethyl molto, isn't it? Which is yeah, like, ethyl molto, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's funny. You, you learn them slowly but surely. Exactly. <laughs> but it's the same with ethyl molto. If you put too much of that and it just mutes yeah. everything. Yeah, you, you get no flavour. You can't taste anything and it just mutes it. Yeah. Oh, oh. It does take a while. Sweeteners, um, I always find sweetener very, very fun. Oh, sorry, that's what I was actually saying when I about the whole we started up was because of the yeah. sweetener. So like banoffee pie, there's no sweetener in banoffee pie. It's only what's in the concentrates. Yeah. So we don't actually add sweetener. Not that it makes, like I said, I'm not sitting here saying it's amazing juice because it's got no sweetener in it. We just got so fed up of coils just getting ruined yeah. all the time, except for when raspberry white cookie came out. And at that point, we were like, on that flavor, I just thought, wow, it tastes amazing with the sweetener in it. There's a lot of Capella super sweet in that bad boy. Yeah, the thing is, if you, I, I quite like my sweetener about um, super sweet for about 0 0.5. Yeah, that's a good shout. Yeah. Oh, a lot of American juices have them at 1.5, 2. Yeah. Well, I, just I just find that too sweet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. Some of them use, um, what is it, don't they, uh, sucralose? Yeah, that's all you we know, use. That's sevia. Yeah, that's, that's, too, that's yeah. another one that they use for their sweetener. And I just find that too too sweet, that. Have you tried a riff? A riff I think it's a rifnatol. A rifnatol, no, no. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it's got a really high flash point, so it doesn't cake up the coils. All right, right. That's why it's very good. But it's no, it's nothing compared to sucralose. It just doesn't doesn't have that the sweet kick. The sucralose. <laughs> Sorry, I've just figured out. <laughs> I must be doing my northern thing because Stuart's just said, "For fuck's sake, Benny's talks." So <laughs> 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 Can you hear me, Stuart? <laughs> Can I just say hello to uh, Liz, uh, Mama Jules, Emma Douglas, uh, Flat Cap, obviously Nature Vapes in the house as well. Welcome to the Welcome. chat, guys. And Stuart, obviously, he's uh, he's always in. <laughs> um, guys, have you tried, uh, Do obviously, I keep going on, on to Benny about this, but have you tried Dr. Vapes Pink Series, Black Current Cotton Candy? That's one of my favourite juices, and that is really sweet, but it's very good on your coils. And you were saying, Mark, don't weren't you, that they put something in it. I can't remember what you said. What the cotton candy? That ethyl malt, all these coffee. That's that's candy. the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's cotton, awesome. Cotton candy is just ethyl malt. Yeah, yeah. That's that's all it is. So it's when you work. when you get Capella's cotton candy, they just taste different. You know, Capella's and TPAs, um, they're just slightly different in taste. You know. Yeah. So. Oh, Benny, when you do your mixing, do you work with Poolard or WS twenty three? WS twenty three, mate. Do you know what WS twenty three comes from? I've no idea. Right now, this is a rumor on the streets, right? So this is what we've all been told. Whether it's true or not, I'm ninety percent. I could, I would, I'll put money on it. Apparently, it comes from WS twenty three, which is Wilkinson Sword twenty third version. And it's, <laughs> it's mental without mint in it. Yes, I'm. I'm guessing. You never shave. Nice and cold. Yeah, so you are right. It's like I've had a shave. I'm, I'm perfectly guessing. safe, guys. Perfectly safe. Yeah. <laughs> It's got enough razor blades in it. That's what it's, like, yeah. it's like the YR4 that they've done. Someone's whoever's done it has done a different version of it to make it in a 23. Because can't you get a 25 now? No, I, I don't. Maybe yeah. probably WS24, 25. Um, so yeah, they, they do different versions of it, like YI4, YR4. They do different versions. <laughs> Chris <I don't> <laughs> what Chris has put there? <laughs> <laughs> put some red currant on your let on your. It's lovely. <laughs> Can I use it for the shaving? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I don't actually know if that's true. That is just what I've been told like many a time. Many different manufacturers have always said it to me. Did you know this? And I'm like, no way. That sounds well dodgy. <laughs> yeah, he was the best vapor can get. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. probably the same stuff they put in that sauce blinking shower gel. It, it yeah. probably is, yeah. It probably is that. It's, uh, same as uh, Joe X Tingle. If anybody use that. That sauce <laughs> shower gel is dangerous, though. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah. That's where we all start. That's where we, we've come to where we are now. 
Uh, we, we were very, very fortunate and uh, very humble to have won quite a few awards for like Bonoffi and Rio and stuff, which has really put us on the map. And um, it's still completely like family run. Like I said, it's my, my um, best friend, my girlfriend, Rachel, um, my my um, godfather, and all the bottling and stuff. It's all my sisters, my mum, like everybody. It's all yeah. hands on deck, but it's just completely family at the moment. It's yeah, nice. exactly. yeah. That's good. I have to buy you out yet. Sorry? <laughs> Juice sauce that has to buy you out yet. <laughs> Juice sauce. Not quite, not quite. <laughs> Mate, don't do it, don't do it. They fuck Yorkshire Vapor up for my liking, honestly. They're trying to like pass off all the cheap shit now. You know, like the is it V4, salts, whatever they call this shite. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so don't do it. Uh, happy birthday, by the way, Liz and chat. I believe it's a birthday. Many happy returns, Liz. Happy birthday. Is she 21? 18 again. 18. <laughs> Good shout. Um, but yeah, we funny enough you said we do actually use juice sauce for our salt. So all of our short fills done in house, but we use juice sauce to make it. <laughs> I'm sitting here like oh. they're all right. <laughs> <laughs> we can't slag them off too, but they're all right. <laughs> but they're the same as yourself. They've come out of nowhere, don't they? They were yeah. family run business, and they've just yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they still are still our family run, aren't they? Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so which which is good that you know the industry can still keep family businesses together you know doing doing what people like not like america where everything's going tits up you know? <laughs> yeah. oh yeah exactly and that, that's uh, do you know what that is what i love i mean i was i said electrical engineer i was on on roll to become we'll probably end up owning the company but the vaping industry the way that everybody's so close it's the community side honestly i know it sounds really soppy but it's the community it's the family run people it's everybody working together and saying I like the fact that it's not run by big tobacco. That uh, does always worry about big tobacco. If they take over, it'll be bloody heartbreaking to me. Yeah. Mm. It will be. It will be. Yeah. You know, and I know Jules sort of pushing the way in now. I see them more and more. Yeah. You know, Jules being around, you know, and I've, I've got like these vibes. Yeah. Thing. Right. You know, I picked one of them up to do a review, but I don't know if I'm going to put it out now because Vic's had a strike on it, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah, he's got bad um, for a week. He's got to go through two thousand videos. He's, uh, he's having to go through all his um, videos to delete um, all his links off. Yeah, but I'd say about two thousand videos he's got to go through. Well, I mentioned this to Danny the other day that Vic still got links. I showed him it. He's still got links. What's his karaoke? What his karaoke videos? You mean? Yeah, it's all got links. If when you drop his thing down, it's still got links to companies, and he said you couldn't do it. Uh -huh. I think uh, Chris from Empire, his, his uh, YouTube went down the other, the other day, but it's back up now. Um, YouTube run it, aren't they? Yeah, it's, it's, it's how it is. It's going to be like that, in it? Do you know what I mean? They've got to be all this, you know, bullying and things like that, and TP, you know, the Americans jumping on with things. It's yeah. all... The, YouTube yeah. is fucking is over, really, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? She's a good yeah. one, Jules. She's just saying, give the guys a thumbs up. So, guys, all in chat, give us a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Links Africa. Yeah, I've got that on today, actually. Links Africa. Oh, you sexy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Was that for Christmas? Yeah. Funny yeah, enough, yeah. right? Yeah, that, 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 you get all that. The Links, all the links Africa gift sets oh, yeah. were like, sorry, um, the Links Africa gift sets were like in, in Wilco's for like £2 or something, like a couple of weeks back. Yeah. yeah. I don't We've got like a pile of them. We've got about six on top of the wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> Good old leagues, well, African. Josh, when you so you got in the mix seat, so when you started developing your flavours, were you going down a specific route for your flavours, or do you just think that you know? So how do you come up with your inspiration of a flavour that you want, other than your banoffee pie? You know, yeah, so the thing was that Rio was uh, made by my friend Jark, uh, bless him, my little South African friend. He um. Came over one day and he just started just started vaping. He's not even now. He's not really a big vapor as such, but he come over and said, like, "I really want to try something. I want to make something." We've gone and we got. You can imagine how many flavors we've got on the shelves. There's just hundreds yeah. and hundreds. Like, what do you want in it? So he's like, "What well, mango?" I said, "What? Well, okay, mango. Pineapple. Yeah, pineapple." And that that was Rio. Rio was made from that. We just picked them all up individually <laughs> and then it just came out and it seemed to work. But like blueberry duffin, that was that was, that was sort of. I think that was just because Rachel, I think Rachel just come back with one one day. It was like, try this blueberry duff, and I was like, that could be a good, and that could potentially work. So they are all like completely random stuff, and like quite often we do stuff like our customers and that. We're, we're always say like, anybody wants to suggest stuff, just suggest it. 
and we're getting emails in like um, raspberry white cookie that was that was a customer message in saying really would love for you to make this like we've got a few people which are really got so so lucky to have but people that actually they just trust us with the juice so they say look i love these this this profile can you make it we sometimes don't get it wrong grapes are not our strong point at all and uh just brought one out but yeah <laughs> but grapes not grape is definitely not a strong point of mine that i can i can mix myself i'm definitely the dessert guy Tom mainly concentrates on the, the the fruity flavors, and my girl Rachel she'll also concentrate on um fruity flavors. And I don't know, sometimes it just comes up. Rachel, you sort of clock the Rachel rabbit, Rachel. Yeah, uh, well, that's from anyway. <laughs> and uh, right. yeah, just suggestions really. It's just like say so. Segmenting into that, which will let Ian because I'm talking again. It's he's supposed to be uh, leading this. Fine. So, well, do you want to tell him what's what's happening then, Ian? Yeah, so what we're going to do is um, Josh kindly sent us um, the range of Jack Rabbit and the range of Rachel Rabbit. I did put a post up in the Northern Union Vape Show Facebook group. Go on, if you <laughs> Excuse me. Which I actually, thinking about it, I forgot to close. I said I was going to do it at 7 o'clock tonight, so fail me. Um, to find out what the most popular choices are from the people in the group to what we should do a live review on. Um I will tell you the results, although I think I know them, unless they've changed. So we put them all in there, and we've got three votes for Bonoffi, two votes for pomegranate, kiwi, and watermelon, and two votes for red currant, grape, and cherry. So we're going to go with the three highest. Am I right in saying that, Benny? I am, aren't I? So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. But three of us aren't going to know they're going to do two. And... Um, other two, so I explain. So yeah, I'm trying to. I've, a man down. I've lost my dead rabbit. I've got the um. I've got the pomegranate, uh, kiwi, and watermelon that I'm going to mm. try in my stock. I'm, I'm more stock tank boy, as we all know. Um, in my hobby, on my drag, and also banoffee pie. I'm a, I, I vape all the time anyway, so I thought I'd I'd go for go for some of the different ones rather than vaping what i vape all the time and i've got rachel rabbit's red currant grape and cherry in my falcon two tank so yeah That's so what we'll do first then is jp and um big d i've got banoffee pie in there so they'll tell you what they're using it on and what what each they will do banoffee pie, pie first and then me ian and jp will do the um pomegranate kiwi and well, funnily enough, Benny, I've got that in my three match oh, switch. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, and yeah, because you came in late, you were only doing I one. Did. Do you I know did. what I mean? He said to me, he put a message on to us and said, oh, I've only got one device, so we've organized it around one device. Then he comes back and says, I've got two now. You so, got yeah, it. Exciting. <laughs> and then we're doing the Rachel Rabbit, so we're doing two from Rachel Rabbit, um, which this one is the red currant, grape, and cherry, and um, they're doing one from the Jack Rabbit range. Um, so we'll do them in different, we're all going to be at different wattage or virtually different wattages. And then we'll just give us opinion on what we think of them, them ones. And then there'll be proper reviews out on each of us channel. But I've lost my dead rabbit. How can you lose? How can you lose it? Not my Cali burn. Just, they just walk away. They've got legs. <laughs> That's, That's gone down the side of the sofa, Josh. <laughs> you know, he's slagging me off coming in late with only one device. I'm looking at him now with his nice T-shirt on looking for his rabbit. I know, do you like that? <laughs> how, can it, how can it walk? It can't just disappear, can it? <laughs> the fuck? I love it. That's hilarious. <laughs> Proper professionals yeah. we are. Now what? I feel... Do you know why I, I can't find it? My echo, echo issue. He sat on it. He's on a fucking mod. <laughs> 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 Professional me. So, oh, uh, yeah, so if you tell them, JP and... Danny, tell them what you're going to be doing it on the Bonoffi pie, please. Yeah. Uh, do you want to go first, JP? Right. I'm doing this on the with the Kelpie on the Aegis X. I want to say, so, say that again. You, 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 yeah, you might have stopped running there, JP. <laughs> like I said, um, Kelpie, Aegis X at 60 watts. Nice. Well, guys, I'm on the UL Crown 4, new stock coil, pumping out 
70 watts with the Velocity Pi. Let's check it out. See what we think. It's tense now, isn't it? It's tense. Oh, tense. Oh. No pressure. No pressure. Oh, right, here we go. Pretend I'm not here. You don't take it personally. Don't worry. <laughs> I tell you what, it's got very good cloud production, hasn't it? Is it seventy thirty? Yeah, seventy thirty, aren't they? Yeah. Mm. That is fucking spot on, that mate. Really nice. <laughs> does it taste like banoffee pie? It does, mate. Yeah, it really isn't. Oh, it's fucking mint, that actually. One minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it's not overly sweet as well, which is what I like. You know what I mean? You get a lot of them sort of flavours and they're always fucking grotesquely sweet. This one's just spot on. It's the right balance. It's good. I love the stuff. So we'll it. get a live review from yeah. Flipping from uh, Parkhurst, apparently, from Stuart. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's really what nice. Fan, what I'm fine is like, you, straight away you're getting the banana coming through at start with an undertone with the toffee, you know, to back it up. Yeah, definitely. The exhale... It's more the opposite way. The um, I'm finding the toffees powering the banana on the way out. That's why I'm finding off it. Cool. It's also got like a creamy sort of banana taste as well, hasn't it? You know, when you, as you inhale it, it's got yeah. like a cre creamy with the undertone of like a caramel or toffee, rather. And then you get like a slight pastry, don't you? Yeah. It's, it's honestly just it's just a perfect balance for me. I'm not just saying that to be a shit box me, but <laughs> it's, but boy, it's really nice. Honestly, it's good. it's good. Right, so that was bit obviously. Is that a thumbs up? <laughs> yeah, that's a thumbs up for that. Thumbs up, that really there you good. go. So Bonoffi Pie is definitely winner. That's the branding there. there you go. Oh no, that's not. That's no, it's not. <laughs> oh, my God. God. <laughs> that's the one that's the one guys <laughs> fucking I was calling it fucking Jessica Rabbit the other day now it's yeah. fucking this is why we can't get anywhere boys it's cost me <laughs> <laughs> Jules loves that stuff as well Bonoffi apparently yeah. right so we will move on then to um, we're going to do pomegranate kiwi and watermelon yep I just remember what I've put it in though <laughs> oh no I'm trying Oh no, it's clean. Oh shit. This is this is professional, isn't it? I can't remember what I've, I've mixed them all up because I couldn't find them. <laughs> I got it on this one anyway. Well, we know that. 70 watts for me. I think that's yeah, I think that's that. That's that. I've actually I have got it in my personal one, I've got it in 86 with the Zeus X. So I'm on a dual coil, thought I'd give that a thing, and I'm gonna have to pump that up a little bit. So I'll be doing it at 55, and that one is the pomegranate one. Yeah. What are you on again? Yeah, sorry, I, I said earlier the um, uh, where are we? Camera, Hell Beast from Hell Vape, uh, 65 watts on my drag, too. Yeah, but well, you got that in, Danny. I'm on the uh, free mass twister with the new stock curl, pumping it out at 80 watts on the Firelink 2 tank, which is an awesome tank. Not as good as the mesh broken out of that. I've got my bloody airflow shut right down. <laughs> yeah, Pete, what are you on? Hip hop, welcome, buddy. Still on the ages, and I've got it on the recab single. Right. I'm staying at 60 with this one again. You can definitely taste the watermelon, can't you? Yeah. The tanginess of the kiwi that Wait I like. Wait a minute, I might, have, I might have put watermelon in this now, you know, because that doesn't taste like watermelon. <laughs> No, that's sorry. I'm on wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking proper you can't taste any watermelon. I can't taste any watermelon. <laughs> can't taste any water. I think it's watermelon. I can. Yeah, it's really it's proper like fresh as well. I'm getting great. <laughs> it's lovely. It's lovely and fresh. Lovely and fresh. It's that pomegranate as well in the background, isn't it? It's there. It's fucking. Oh, it's fucking nice. So I've changed it. So I'm on the blue. <laughs> um, I'm one fucking six seven rabbit. <coughs> and the dead rabbit V two. And I'm doing that one at 70 watt. There you go. It's got I'm a cute undertone, hasn't it? I'm getting the watermelon very mild. I would say I'm getting the pomegranate more than I... Oh, I don't know. I, don't I get know. the watermelon on the exhale, the watermelon, along with like a tangy citrusy kiwi. Uh, but I'm also getting that cool undertone. I'm yeah, just about to say, cool, it's lovely. Oh, cool, Ada. A little bit, yeah. WF23. Oh, it had. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
But you get that coolness. I quite yeah. like the watermelon. My personal favourite is a watermelon with a WS23 in it. That's good. It's like a fucking posh alcoholic free cocktail, isn't it? With them fruits in it. It's fucking nice. I like that. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. That is, it is yeah. proper refreshing, actually. Proper refreshing. Yeah, that's what I get. I get the pomegranate on the inhale and then the watermelon mm. mixes with it coming out again. Yeah, and I then you get, get the WS23 just as you think the exhale and the inhale. You just get that lily. It's not a lot in it, is it? No, it's just a touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm finding like you're getting your kiwi right down in the middle of it, above, yeah. both ways. So what we try to do with Rachel Rabbit is we try to actually explain the profile in it. It sounds stupid, but you get pomegranate first. Yeah. Then you get the kiwi all the way through the middle, and then it comes out with the watermelon on the exhale. The same with like banoffee pie. It's going to be banana toffee biscuit. Yeah, it's nice that, mate. Really good, that, Josh. I, I like that with not having so much WS because a lot of them now with WS23, you get that oh, cold blast like that. Yeah. You just taste the cool harder straight away and it's like, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. and then you're thinking, oh, that was cold. You know what I mean? Does this yeah. change its profile then higher up? Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you vape it? If you were going to vape it yourself, what do you? 73. 73. 73. Oh, so I'm not far from you then at 70, aren't I? So <laughs> we're not far from. I'm just going to wrap it a bit to 72. We can go for it, Ian. It's stuck stu stu in strawberry. <laughs> that. Living life on the edge, all right? Well, yeah, so that's de that's definitely, it's definitely right. Yeah. Like I say, a watermelon. I, I never used to like watermelon. And no. then I started getting, um, I got some, um, do you, do you watch mixers or the professional or the YouTube mixers? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, so sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> you well, used to watch yeah. a lot of, um, oh, I forgot what his name is now. He's in America. Um, he made a, <coughs> oh, I can't remember what his name is. I'll yeah, message it. I'll, I'll put it afterwards. DIY or die? Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. I'm alone. What, he, he, what I'm alone. Which is really, really that's what brought me on to watermelons, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. Um, and then I got one that had the cool ladder in it, and it was too overpowering with a cool ladder, but just the touch like you've put in there, yeah. it doesn't overpower anything, it just gives you that that cool flavour at the back of it. Just trying to give it fresh is the idea, is to make it like a fresh yeah. fruit rather yeah. than a menthol or a cool ladder. I don't want the bang in your face, just subtle but cool. Oh, you know like I mean? that. It's it's, to me, it reminds me of like a juice that you have in the summer, you know, when you're sat in the sun type of thing with your yeah. drinks and that. It's sort of vape. That's sort of vape to me. Mm. And it's a lovely juice I'm finding it. It's that tanginess oh. as well. You know, you know, in pomegranates burst in your mouth, you're getting that tanginess out of you as well. It's fucking nice. I don't know. I haven't had on. pomegranate since I was eight. Zeus is back <laughs> I haven't used this for ages, my Zeus X. I haven't. This is first time <coughs> Did a review on it, used it for a bit, and then not used it for a while. And I've just got it out for review. It's a banger. It's Zeus X. It's really is that the Kelpie? Oh, no, no, it's Zeus. Is that the Kelpie on about? Zeus, it's hashtag. All right. Zeus X. Zeus X. <laughs> Zeus X. I did see that on your last show, guys, the Zeus X. That did, uh, that did tickle me. <laughs> yeah. right, so are we going to move on to the next yeah. one? So, yeah, boys, girls. Definitely try that one. That's mm. great. Really good. Really good, Josh. Good job. Thanks, so, guys. Next Take one me. we're going to be doing is red currant, grape, and cherry. This is the latest one we've brought out of all of them. This is the most recent. And I'm right in thinking you do all these in, in uh, Nick Salts as well, don't you? Yes. All Rachel Rabbit's in Nick Salts. Yeah. Uh, Jack Rabbit's in uh, Nick Salts, except for sucking <laughs> strawberry. Which unfortunately, Matt King, we are we are discontinuing strawberry. That's not too much longer on it. Why? Why and is it a particular reason? It's just uh it's just not the strongest flavour. Well, we've got so many of them that just don't. We, I think we've got quite a lot. There's like diehard fans that like stick with it and always on it. But it's just not. Um, I don't know. It takes up a lot of space and it times. Yeah. You know. I'm really selfish, don't I? I'm really sorry, guys. <laughs> so, do you know, like, like we're saying about that? So, you're just going to discontinue it, and you're never going to make it again. Mm -hmm. Would you release that on the LR? Yeah, yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I mean? If you're never going to use it again, no, exactly. Is... There's no point in. 
holding it. That's, that's not exactly what we would do, definitely. As soon yeah, as it's so release it back to me. So if anybody wanted to do it, yeah, yeah, then and they you're not going to do it. I think that's the best thing to do on a juice company if they're never going to use it again and people enjoy it and they want to do it themselves, yeah. Put it up. Only problem you got with that is fuckers going to try and claw, put it on their site as a, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Which is a bit of a yeah. conflict. But I do think if you're going to give it back to the community, oh, it's just fair enough, isn't it? Stick it up on their yeah, like, we're never going to use it again. No, this what it is. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, no, I'll be more than happy to do that. Yeah, I just think that gives people a chance to do like he's saying. You're saying please continue. It gives him a chance to do it himself. Then, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know what I'd do myself if we're going to do that? I just tw- you know because you know where percentages are. Just yeah, the percentage slightly. Or under percentage slightly, you know, so it's not absolutely spot on your recipe. Yeah, <laughs> it's not going to be a lot of difference in your recipe doing a couple of percent with you know, if you're using strawberry ripe at eight percent, yeah, it like 10 percent, it's not going to be all you know, putting it down to six percent is not going to be much difference. No, no, exactly. I think to be honest, it's more of a case of, in my opinion, I think most, most of the feedback I've had from it is it's, it's nice, but it's not strong enough. It needs more flavour in it. So for us, it's like it's a stand. It's a strawberry. It is. There's like well, there's four different strawberries inside there. <laughs> That's really nice, I <laughs> but it's only they are. But um, you know, there's, there's four different strawberries. So we're trying to get like a really rounded strawberry, which tasted amazing. At the, well, we thought it tasted amazing at the time, and it's just really, really died out. It was the second flavour we ever released, and it went really, really well. And then it's just died out. So to us, it's like, and if, because we don't have another strawberry alternative. It seems a bit harsh to to keep it to ourselves when we <laughs> loved it and they've bought it for out you know yeah. for the years. Yeah, it just makes sense. But to redo it, to get it retested, to get it new TPD because everything's tested. Jack Rabbit and Rachel Rabbit's all tested, yeah. and it's cost a fortune, as I'm sure Chris will hopefully say in a minute. Back me up. Um, very very expensive to get stuff tested. So do we want to bring that one out again, redo it? Yeah. Um, so new and you know all that sort of stuff, rather than. You know, maybe invest in a new a new flavour, which hopefully people are going to start putting in some stuff about uh, what new flavour we could have. Mm. Do, I, do, I, do I ask you a question now? Do you That's use Fuji Apple or Fuji Strawberry? I think so. I think we're ready. <laughs> do you use Fuji Apple or Fuji Strawberry? No, we don't. Do you not? Definitely don't. I have done before, but not on not on succulent strawberry. We use. I right. tell you what, Boo. Yeah. Dragon fruit. Yeah, TGA yeah. Dragon fruit. fruit. Raspberry sweet TPA, really? right? Raspberry sweet. It's got graham cracker inside there as well. Graham cracker's nice. On a, honestly, if you try it, and I hope I think I sent you a bottle. But if you try our strawberry, yeah, yeah, yeah. see if you can pick out graham cracker because nobody's picked it out ever. Or the right. dragon fruit, nobody picks it up, but it just it just gives it different edges to the. It just, it just I I think that like Fuji Apple pushes your strawberry up. And so, yeah. like dragon fruit pushes it, it just gives it that little bit of a sparkle, doesn't it? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, they all make yeah. It's, it's, it's so weird with mixing because everyone seems to think you bring out a strawberry, there's like one strawberry in it. Yeah. There's like nine <laughs> flavors that go into succulent strawberry, and that's one of our like least complex recipes. Yeah, I mean, look yeah. at Chris Chris Bell from Empire with his uh, crypto. You know, it's uh, different layers of orange. Yeah. So you know, when you get it, it's fucking spot on. It's like mm. an orange Gina or something, proper fresh orange. Um, yeah. so that must have took a long time to, uh, you know, to do. Because orange is a nightmare. Hats off to you, Chris, for that one. Because orange is, oh, really struggle with oranges. Oranges and grapes, they're like the two things that are just a nightmare. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I've had and some apple, maybe, orange. actually. Apple as well. Yeah. The, um, we, need to, we need to find out. How, how do we put this? And we have to be careful how we put this, don't we? What, it, it, stop, what you, we haven't done that. We haven't done Oh. Sorry, 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 get sorry, sorry. You're getting over excited. It's here, it's here. It's here. Honest sorry. to God. <laughs> this is, don't let me, don't let me, don't let me. Go on, Benny, go for it. Go on, so we're going to do the last one, and this is the, uh, I can't got my glasses, red currant, grape, and cherry. Yeah. So on, I am on Zeus X, and the Aegis X, 55 watts. What you want, rest of you? Unfortunately, Big D's not doing this one because he's only got one dev- two devices. I'm on the um, the Falcon 2 on the Desire X at 60 watts. Mm. And I'm on the Goon 
at 90 watts on the ages. So there we go then. There we off. Airflow. Keep forgetting a bloody airflow. I'm gonna tell you something, boys. I've already actually vaped this one. So um I know exactly what it tastes like. Can you think of a supermarket drink, Big D, that is trying to is trying to copy? Eh? Uh-huh. Can you think of the supermarket drink that is trying to copy? Um, yeah, I, I, can, I can. Yeah, I can sort of see that. Yeah, you better write it down. <laughs> we can reveal. <laughs> <coughs> what are you thinking, guys? You do pick up the grape in it, don't you? Yeah, you definitely pick up the grape. Um, the red currant is that. Is that's what making it a little bit sweeter? Yeah, it's quite, it's quite tangy. Yeah, yeah, tangy yeah. From the red currant. Yeah, so when you get the cherry comes out at the back though, doesn't it? Yeah, right in the back. Yeah, when you exhale, you just get the little bit of a cherry. Has this got cool in cool cool it? Yeah, it's got, it's got the same amount of cool larder as um, pomegranate. All of them have got yeah. the same, Rachel Rabbit. Yeah, same level. I actually, but it blends really well. You don't get on the exhale, you get all the mixture, don't you? Which is yes. quite nice. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, well, everybody's going to get different. Like, say, you get different tastes out of it. I can't decide which of those I prefer. You know, that one or the um, pomegranate, kiwi, and watermelon. It's close for me. Very close. Come on, it's definitely pomegranate for me. Absolutely love the pomegranate. I'm not supposed to be getting involved, am I? Actually, sorry. <laughs> You're fine. So yeah, again, again, what do you what do you get, JP? I'm, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying that. But it's, it's not an easy one to pick out the flavors. I'm finding I'm, it's straight I'm away. I'm getting the grape, but the other two I'm struggling to find. Yeah. But I, I don't know if it's just to balance it all out. It's a good balance, isn't it? Mm. Mm. I love the current. I love the red current. It's a bit. Reminds me a little bit of uh, ribena, but a lot nicer actually. See, I can't. I don't like grape, but I can't taste. I can't. I'm not getting that big amounts of grape out of it, which is a bonus for me because I'm not keen on it. <laughs> so JP can just pick out grape straight up. Ian can't taste the grape at all. <laughs> Everyone tastes it differently. Don't ask the thing. Yeah, Everyone tastes it different. And... That's, that's a big thing. Like I say, that the, the, um, the grape and everything is kind of cherry, and you get the cherry. The cherry's giving it that little ting, little sharpness at the end of it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But I've just upped it up to 110, <laughs> and I'm finding the cherry more coming out as yeah. the um, watches just change. Yeah, it will be like say, different watches, brings out different flavors, not always has done. So, so yeah, so that's another one, guys. I definitely recommend this Rachel Rabbit. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm a virgin at this, I've not tried any of Jack Rabbit or Rachel Rabbit, so I'm totally new to this, but I definitely recommend them. And obviously, Banoffee Pie, which sounds good. So, yeah, check them all out. Thanks, Danny. What you've got yeah. to do, Big D, is get a Red Oasis, the summer fruits. That was it. That was it. <laughs> that was it. <coughs> That's the one. I couldn't you fucking beat me. It, me. it does, me. Exactly, yeah. It does. It does. Man, it's cool. so if you like Red Summer Oasis, Summer Fruits Oasis, that's what yeah. it's... Uh, I was saying to Mrs. the other day, because I had it the other day, I didn't tell you you lads that, but I did the other day, and, and Mrs. asked it, what's it taste like? It tastes something familiar. I'm thinking, is it right, Bean? I couldn't put my fucking finger on it. And I just said that, I feel a lot less weight on my shoulders. <laughs> you can sleep tonight. You sleep easy tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what pump up, Danny? Big D from Big D Vates at Home Firth near the co-op. What number is it, bud? What number? And he wants to get naked as well with us. You know, I was on Zoom before with Marcus and Pud Puffs, and uh, we're chatting away, and all of a sudden, Marcus and Pud get naked. And I think, <laughs> what's going on? So I just fucking ended the phone call. Did you, get, did, you get, did you get a titty flash? No, no, but I went and had a shower and put um, jo- Boy George's crying game on in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Number 79, Puddy, got it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Right then, Ian, do you want to carry on? Sorry, the um, we have to be careful with the wording of this, don't we? So, if it's a gentleman's pe- handshake, gentleman's handshake, that's the one. Um, if people 
what, what we're after is we're after the most. What are we after, Josh? The so most. We're looking well, at like releasing a new rate to rabbit flavor, but we're struggling for ideas. So basically, whatever idea. So I've got to be very careful with the words, and I'm not sure what the laws are either. The rules are on it, but whatever flavor that we like the most, then there's a gentleman's handshake for. Is that all we say? Yeah, gentleman's handshake. Which will um, which will be a yeah. Well, it'll be a range. It'll be a range of um, either Rachel or Jack Rabbit. And it's UK UK residents only, isn't it? UK residents. Yeah. So, so yeah, so what we're after then is in the chat, we want you to put in some flavor profiles that you this so this is how you're gonna be winning the giveaway tonight. Uh yeah, gentleman's handshake, should I say? And uh, <laughs> close, what baby, close, close. so what is what we're gonna do is put your what you want in there. Um and it, Obviously, Josh is going to have a look through and just pick out what he thinks the best one is, and then they're going to go with that, and then obviously you'll get the range. What's the best, yeah. way, of, what's the best way of getting hold of you, Josh? Uh, well, if email email email. Us, you got an email account? Yeah. If they send it through to us, because we've got a uh, email for us. Yeah. We have. Uh, if you want to it. So when we when we pick the winner, we'll put the email in, and then they'll have to email us and. Uh, we can pass the details on to Josh. Yeah, right. sounds good. So where yeah. were we on that rabbit story? <laughs> Boring everyone to death by now. The last bit, I suppose, the last one that we've done is we've started up a sister company called Dispergo. So Dispergo, which means distribute in Latin, and we're basically manufacturing uh, alongside like shops and collaboration with shops and uh, developing flavors for for the stores. So we've got um, the likes of like Nature Vape. Like Mark popped up, True Juice. Um, me and Mark sort of sat down and went through some flavors, and made <laughs> basically. So, and then we... <laughs> so I think the good. The good. So what I'm trying to say is, there's, there's a lot more ranges now that we actually do. Um, if you go on to Dispergo, a lot of new flavors. I think um, Ian started doing some reviews on the tonic range last yeah, week. Some the tonics, and got some more to come at some point. Yeah. We've got nine ranges at the moment, so it's quite a few. And that, that sort of brings us up to date, really, and we're at a point where we want to bring a new range of rabbit out and need some ideas. Right, so, so far, we have got in... Salt. Chris Hale says a cheesecake juice, but we need a flavour for the cheesecake juice, please. It's got to be... Sorry, I forgot to mention this. Right, For Rachel Rabbit, it has to be three fruits that are going to work well with a cooling. So all Rachel Rabbit has got three fruits and a cooling effect on it. So Debbie Robinson says pink gin and lemon to pink gin and lemonade. That seems to be a big thing at the moment, pink gin. She drinks um, another bit. Umbai did it though, didn't they? Umbai, they already started released flavours based so, on gin. So pink gin and lemonade. We have got Matkin with apple, peach, and pineapple. Ooh. We've got Debbie Douglas with apricot and nectarine. Very interesting, like that. We've got Pud just says salt. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jill says, I'm a fruity kind of girl. So, fruit vape would be a winner. Pea lime cheesecake. Chris Earl's come back with. That'd be a good one. Uh, where are we? Stuart uh, says, apple, raspberry crumble, and custard. Just like my mm -hmm. nan. Sounds like a good one, that one. It does. <laughs> See nature, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Can I How can I enter? Paul <laughs> <laughs> Fisher says Vinto squash remix. Do you know I quite like that Vince? Raspberry orange and passion fruit. Oh, that could be good. He's a handsome chap, Paul Fisher, as well. What a bloke. What a bloke. Eat a mess. See, I really mm. like strawberry. Oh, eat a mess. Like That's it. a good shout, Pad. It's a good shout. Mm. Passion fruit, raspberry, and kiwi. And you done that similar to what we just done, isn't it? We've, yeah, so we've got a passion fruit. Uh, we've got mango, orange mango passion fruit, uh, lemon pear and raspberry. So that's got the raspberry. Pub Puffs wants a watermelon, strawberry, and cactus. Mm. Not point three percent on that cactus, boy. Lemon lychee and dragon fruit. Ooh. I like dragon fruit. Oh, uh, that's really good. Pear and goji berry. Damn the tattoo, man. 
Dan Barden of Owen Firth there. And we've got, yeah. let's come back with mango, orange, peach. So, any more on there? We've got wow. any more? Any more? Uh, raspberry and blackberry has just come up. We've got one of those in um, uh, oh, June. A lemon drizzle cake. I've tried trying... so many times, Jules. Honestly, love lemon flavors, but I tell you what mm -hmm. tastes more like a lemon cake. Uh, obviously, you got lemon tart. That's lemon tart. But Vampire Vape did the sweet lemon pie, and that's more like a cake to me. Is it? Yeah, very, very lemony, like a lemon curd almost. Yorkshire Vapor does a really nice um, lemon drizzle cake. <clears throat> We've got plum pineapple pear, the three P. Oh, plum pineapple pear. Blackberry, blueberry, and apple. That sounds pretty cool. Blackcurrant apple raspberry. I think uh, Six Licks do that. Raspberry lime and pear. Can't copy Six Licks. <laughs> You know I'm actually that? getting rid of them. I'm getting rid of them from my store because they're shit. Debbie <laughs> some, uh, Fair enough. <laughs> some carrot cake. Carrot oh, cake. Debbie, I've tried a carrot cake. You would not oh, believe how many times I've made it. There's no decent... It's impossible. It, so you can't do it. it is impossible. DIY so I've been trying to three years to do that. Oh, carrot cake. Yeah, actually, Josh, um, Pud Puffs in the chat, really good reviewer. Um, he would love to try your Bonoffi. I know yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He gives us a message. I'll put our email address on here. Is that all right to do that or not really? Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you, one of my, well, my favourite is the blueberry duffin. I actually went to Lidl and bought some blueberry muffins ever, <laughs> and then had this, and it is fucking spot on. Credit oh, to you, mate. Really good. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> That was a bit of a bastard to make that one. Yeah, it's a nice for one. Any more, for any more, before we uh, get Josh to pick a, a bit of a uh, flavour out of here. We good? Did you put your Did you put your email in? There? I can't see it. He has, yeah, it's just come up. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, we know it wasn't a hint. We know it wasn't a hint. Put the... <laughs> Fuck you know. <laughs> lemon lime pear. Pear seems to be uh, a bit of a, a thing. Of people have a bit of pear. Really, because I've already got the lemon pear and raspberry. Because I've yeah. already got one pear in it. I'm trying to that's that's why it's so hard. It's trying to find one that's different than we've already got. Mm. Paul Fisher saying shy tots do a don't know who they are. Do an awesome yeah, kind of Oh. So you've got like flat flat cap vapor, raspberry lime pear. We've got a raspberry lemon pear. It's a little bit close. Yeah. So going back there, is that it then? No more for any more. Right, we're gonna yeah. go through them now and see which uh oh, someone's put a new comment. What we got. My dad used to make an apple raspberry crumble with a hint of cinnamon and a Devon creamy custard. It was awesome. Ooh, that would be good. Amazing. Oh, yeah. oh, we've got another one which is Blue raspberry, strawberry. Debbie, I'm hungry now. <laughs> yeah, Debbie's hungry now. Got <laughs> these lovely flavours. Right, so <laughs> what we got? So if you go back through chat, I'll flick them up. We've got cheesecake. Well, we've got pink gin and lemonade. Apple, peach, pineapple. I know which one's my favourite at the moment. Apricot, nectarine. Go on, then you tell us what your... I like uh, Sarah Sadler's Blackberry, Blueberry, and Apple. Mm. That yeah, sounds that sound good. very unique to me. Yeah, I love a bit of blueberry. It should be unique, but how many Blackberry, Blueberry, Apple flavours do you know? Not many. Mm. No. That is that nice. your fave, is it? Is that your fave? It is my fave. So is my that fave. You... It's different from everyone else as well. As in, like, compared to Rachel, from the Rachel Rabbit range, that would be one that would be different than anything else we've got. There's not one that in the others, if that makes sense. Yeah, should yeah. Call, you should call it the uh, the Saddler Berry. The Saddler Berry. The Saddler Berry. <laughs> so, is that what we're going for then, Josh? Yeah. I'm happy with that. Well done, Sarah. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to start making one. It's uh, that's looks like it's a winner there then. So, yeah. if you do, do you want them to get in touch with yourself? Then, or shall I get to get in touch with us? Yeah, yeah. You can message me, Sarah. Just mess I'm literally saving it now, so I remember it. What flavour it is? Because that sounds quality. Yeah, so well done, Sarah Sadler. You are. Well done, Sarah. Good job. 
look out for your juice. If you if you scroll back, you will see Jackrabbit. I'll put it up on screen. Info at jackrabbitvapes.co.uk. That's when everyone messages me, don't they, saying I want it and I won't have a clue who's going to take it out. What I'm do is get get it to message us. So yeah. we'll put our email in. Yeah. That is very nice. There you go, it's in. I hope I got the email right. Should have. Um, so what we're gonna do is how do we how do we do that so we can prove it's there? Well, Flat Cap said that you should be negotiating with Sam, with uh, Sarah. Yeah. Well, price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's... Uh, is that our email address? No, that's ours. Is it? Right. Right down stream yard, it looks fancy. Yeah, it takes a bit to work out. Just click and go, mate. <laughs> so, yeah, if you email us as well... Um, what what proof are we going to ask for? Because obviously I don't want anybody here. Good point. <laughs> Everyone, you'll get like 12 emails from Sarah Sadler. Just say, deliver it here. Right. So what we'll do then is we could do with your... Obviously, if you email us, I'll know from email address. If you email us, won't you? Um. And we'll see from there. We'll we'll sort it out from there. Who thought it'd be so complicated? I know I didn't. I, know, I never even thought about that. I should have put mm. a, got a an information like thing does. So we'll take it from there. So if you get twelve people saying that it, they've won it, then yeah, we <laughs> we'll pick just, one of them out of it. <laughs> you, just got, you just got to prove you're not a man. Exactly. So yeah, that's it. so Sarah. Yeah, if you can get in touch with us, got stuff to make a Sarah email. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be vetting you. So just email email both uh, both them, and uh, then we can take it from there. Then and we'll sort you out with some juice. Thank you very much. So well done. Yeah, thank you. Very much. Congratulations. Good. So yeah, bit of inspiration. There was a few more in there that quite sounded quite nice. To be honest with you. Yeah, there was. Oh, uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll be looking back now and getting all flavour profiles. Say, oh yeah, that's. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, exactly. Gary... Like Matt King says, there's only 21 of us in here, and we know oh at least half of them are. So if I suddenly get one from Flat Cap or Puds, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Driving uh, guys... Yeah, there you go. Take, send me a driving license. Yeah, magic. That'll magic. do. It's a picture of your driving license. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, easy as that. What didn't we think of that? Because we're male, we don't think of these things. No, it's true. Very good point. Very good point. So what, well, else you, what else is going on in the world of um, Jack Rabbit? So obviously you've got your salts in uh, Jessica. you you got sort of Rachel, yeah. Jessica. I'm doing it again. Everyone um, does. I get called Jack more than I get called Josh nowadays, honestly. And have you got salts in the in the um, Jack Rabbit range as well? So we've got 20 MG in all of them other than strawberry. Um, and then the 10 MG we brought out in Bonoffi and Rio because they were the most yeah. popular ones. We haven't gone down the 10MG routes for the blueberry and the raspberry and the mandarin. Um, <clears> no no main reason, only they're just literally the most popular flavours, so we thought they'd be the ones that... Because I personally can't do 20MG salts. They're, they're too much for me. But 10MG, so I was always mixing my own 10MG ones all the time. And thought, there's not really a market for it at the moment, is there? 10MGs aren't really that popular. It do well in my store. I mean, I do, I do stock a few, but um, it's 20 milligram all the way. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. I was going to say, a lot of people are turning to 10 milligram salt. Yeah, me, I'm one. 20 milligram, like I do, I, it makes me clean. Mm. Yeah. A lot of people are doing uh, 10. Do what, what salts were they? Basically, there's, you know, there's like five different types of salt. Yeah, yeah. That you can use. Benzinate used to make me cough. Like, I cannot stop coughing on benzinate. And That's a lot of people... Got in, isn't it? Sorry? That's the dual one. Right. Is that, is that benzinate, is it? Yeah. Benzinate acid or whatever it's called. I don't really know what it's called. Um, and we actually switched over to salicylate, salicylic or something. I don't know. The S one, anyway. The one that's S. It's a little bit more expensive, but doesn't seem to... Well, it doesn't make me cough anymore, which is good. Yeah, poor mm. fish. They're like 10 MGs. Yeah, see, Paul says the same. He says he can't do 20 minigram. 
on the same as that. Yeah, a lot of people can't do 20. A lot of people can't do 20. They can't, they're all right with 10, but not with 20. The hybrid ones are all right, aren't they? <laughs> Yeah, right squad do them, don't they? Yeah, right squad do an hybrid one, don't they? What's, what's the old exotic right squad one? Exotic something. Oh, well, that's right. Right. Any right squad. Oh, it's I'm not from the right squads. Fair enough. Unfortunately. Yeah. So, we brought up to start up the Spurgo as well, and that's, that's the new that's the new thing at the moment. Loads cool. of range. Look, opened up a shop in the next two or three months. Only on a little industrial estate, so that'd be pretty cool. Is that going to be like a proper shop or an wholesale shop? Or so we've got obviously the wholesale side of stuff, but we're going to be having it as a normal shop, but it'll Retail. be um, open really random hours because it's not <laughs> going to be like a normal shop, it's not going to be like a big day, big D shop where you can go in whenever you want. Basically, ours is going to be open stupid at the moment. The plan is like on a Monday from like 11 till 2. And like a Tuesday, it'll be another really weird. We're just in an industrial estate in the middle of nowhere, basically. But I just sort of thought there's a little opportunity. Really, yeah. to get to customers anymore. You want a truck stop one? If you're in there, just get a truck stop one that's open like when they finish at 11 o'clock till like three o'clock in the morning. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's what we're doing at the moment. And we just move units. So, we're in the process of building all clean rooms and all sorts, it's all nice and fun. And, uh, yeah, that's about it at the moment for us. So where you never said this. Where did the names come from? So, mm. Do you know what? Torrin came up with a name, Jack Rabbit. And I have still, every time I ask him, he tells me a different story. Like, I have no idea. Where did Jack Rabbit come from, Tony? So, I don't know. Like, one story was, um, well, the one that I think is the most likely is that he actually he works in a barber called the Blunt Rabbit in Whitney. And um, his apprentice was called Jack. So I think he sort of put one and like, two and two together. Was that Jack Rabbit? But I don't know. I think my uh, my wife's got a toy called that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was. I think that's a different one. He's a, a different right rant. bastard. He's always out. He pisses me off. <laughs> Josh, uh, I'm just saying, email is not working. Why did you try trying to sleep as well? <laughs> did I type it in wrong? No, no, it's no, 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 the Rachel Rabbit, the, the slogan was actually going to be the second best rabbit a girl can have. That was going to be uh, the slogan. Right. And we sort of thought, oh, can we? <laughs> can we get away with that? Probably not. I mean... <laughs> oh, funny. But yeah, so that's where we are at the moment. But Jack, oh. Jack Rabbit, no idea where the name come from. Really should. I've just realised <laughs> <don't know. laughs> Pud's talking about um, Josh's email address that isn't working. Yeah, that's right. Josh, yeah, Sorry. it's not working. Um, so, like with that, do you find different flavours work at different parts of country? 100%. Like, we really have not. The, we've got, like, a big gap. So, we've really hit, like, Birmingham down. It's yeah. really, we're really well known down south. And then Scotland. But in between, oh, right. there's, there's nothing. There's very little shops that actually stock us up there. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know if it's a price um, thing. I think Big D stocks yours, actually. Oh, what a bloke. What a really <laughs> legend as well. <laughs> you might want to ask uh, Pud Puss where that is. You say it's show <laughs> one work. I thought you'd wrote it in wrong. Oh, the show one. Sorry. You, you carry on. I'll put it in. Yeah, so it's bizarre. I mean, like, like Australia, it's they're, they're really, really big on um, the Rachel Rabbit should be released over there at the moment, and that's already like flying. <laughs> and it's quite a while dip, but what's really, really interesting where we work with so many shops, a lot of shops, even they're like 10 miles apart. You know, these guys sell blueberry duff and a banoffee all day, and the other ones like rice white cookie and strawberry, and it's it's it makes no sense. But I, I don't know if it's the staff inside that prefer it, and because I bet you probably get it all the time, BD. People come walk in and say, "What are you vaping on?" Yeah, you know, yeah, that's the thing. I want. They ask you oh. advice all the time. Sometimes you've got to sort of step back a little bit because you know your preference is totally different yeah. to somebody else's. So you can give them advice, but then you've got to sort of step back and let them have a look yeah. yourself. Just giving them the flavor profiles and then they can make their own decision, basically. Yeah, yeah, well, that's it. But yeah, definitely, every, different parts of the country, it's just bizarre. Especially different countries are even like, that's, that's just crazy. Every, everywhere is completely different. But it's like straight away, just straight away, every, every person's different as well. Yeah. The yeah, true vapor think... saying that he's never heard of Jack Rabbit Juice in the Northeast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jules says it's popular up Scotland. It's, it's mm. bizarre. Peter Bryan never heard of it. 
There's, honestly, as a band in the middle, we just can't. It's never really seems to have taken off. Yeah, because I've only come across you through Nature Fape. Yeah. When I've when I've ordered um either tanks or drippers off him, yeah. we know because he sends out a sample uh, yeah. bottle as well with it. That's where I've come across you a lot. Yeah. But apart from that, I I've not really seen you up at my end of the stick. You're quite well established online as well, aren't you, Josh? On Instagram and and so on. Yeah. Far. Yeah. I very. I can't. I can do Facebook, but like personal Facebook, but like business Facebook. I'll, yeah. I'll get someone else to do that. He <laughs> <laughs> looks after all of it for me. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Uh, Jules just said that Jack Rabbit is popular in Scotland. Yeah. Scotland. Um. Stuart's oh, Peterborough. Oh, Stuart. Mm. Peterborough. Yeah. Honestly, just as a band. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. I don't know what it is. They just don't love us. You no, you get there sh uh, surely, mate. Slowly but surely, but uh, it's also competition, isn't there? Oh, massive. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if it's. I, I have no idea. Honestly, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just our reviewers don't go up there as much. Not many reviewers up there that do our stuff. Um, whether it's price point, so I know we're definitely not the cheapest on the market. Yeah, but it's like everything else. I, 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 I as long as if I'm getting a really nice liquid for the money, then I'll pay it. It's I mean, we we sell like brands like Twelve Monkeys and you know Dinner Lady and Doozy Vape and fucking Patch of Mama, and I put your your juice in that crack category. You know, you're in the premium juice line. So. <laughs> I don't think it is overpriced at all. I think it's reasonable. Yeah, I don't think it is. Not for what you get. Right, I've just put email in the link. Oh, sorry. VS. I've had to start I'm I'm doing, I'm searching through for it. So I've put it in now. So that should work. NorthernUnionVS at gmail.com. Yeah. Oh, Matt King's definitely right. I mean, when the, you know, all the crap from America hit off, that just no shop would take a risk or take a punt of taking on a different a new range that they haven't had yeah nobody will take a risk it's always a pop up i don't know what you do i don't know if you still take the risks of such big d but mm. i think people are very twitchy about it they know what's going to sell so they stick with what's going to sell yeah 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 so what we did i did find when i was in big d's shop um there were a lady coming um when, it, when he got me behind counter to help him out when he couldn't cope himself <laughs> uh, a lady came in she just had she just um she was, she was coming back in um and she was wanting a new vape because she's just had a, a little one and she was saying on there that she'd been on while she was pregnant the, the midwife said to her she said, a vape she says no it's fine you're all right and she went online and then she started reading all about this formaldehyde and all this lot yeah. and she, just, she said oh no i'm stopping it's for baby's health and i'm like don't believe everything you read online love do you know yeah. what i mean um, yeah you know? ridiculous so, it so was, the whole American thing is just that. Oh, yeah, and, that and I tell you what else I heard. I was in um, Subway, and when it all kicked off, you know, the all the deaths in America, yeah. there were three um, teenagers sat there, and um, a vapor walked past. Anyway, that's getting banned. That. Yeah, and I see. Like, you like that, and I'm like listening. And he's like, "Yeah, yeah." There's been a load of deaths from vaping. The banning. It's all over. It's all over. Uh, it, what is it all over internet? And I'm yeah. like, nah, mate, it's not. I turned around and said, look, it's, it's not vaping that's getting back. I said, it's, you know, the illegal THC. And I'm like, it just shows that, you know. Yeah. It, it's the media. A lot a lot of people, oh, you know, the people who watch Coronation Street, I've said it before, people watch Coronation Street in EastEnders and that's their life. When the news comes on, obviously they just see that and believe that. And yeah. it's just so fucking corrupt. <laughs> they don't tell the full story. They don't say the full story. It says... You know, vaping kills so many people. It's not vaping. It's the vitamin E acetate they're putting into yeah. the most of the THC. Yeah. And you don't have vitamin... What? There is no need for vitamin E acetate in an e-liquid. Why would... I, I obviously, that's why they were using it for the THC side of things. See you later. Sorry? Yeah. Sorry, mate. I'm just saying see you to somebody in chat, but I can't pronounce his fucking name. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yami, Yami Maku or something. <laughs> uh, Yami Maku. That's the yeah. one. <laughs> so we're going to call it a night soon anyway, because uh, Ian's mum will be calling because he's got to go to bed. Yeah, I won't be long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you're, down, you're down on cue as well. 
I told you. Here's mum's calling. As if you know. Past his bedtime. <laughs> Where's that camera, Benny? Where's the camera? <laughs> <laughs> and she's hungry. Exactly. <laughs> right. Do you want to call it a night then, Ian? Yeah. So, um, thank you everyone in chat it's been fantastic they had lots of um lots of feedback some great ideas with the liquids and some just some great chat so thank you all very much for being here we do appreciate it um josh your star thank you very much for joining us thanks for having me guys really, really enjoyed it. wasn't as scary as i thought it was going to be no we're not, not scary. we're not bad we're not that scary <laughs> um yeah so uh, as always um benny thank you ever so much for you know, being the hostess with the mostess and all that sort of stuff. No problem. And um, Big D, Danny, thank you very much for joining up uh, for joining us for being here as always. <laughs> yeah, no, your star. Thank you, JP. Your star. Thank you very much. It would be um, weird if it wasn't you guys. So thank you. Um, yeah, and I'll pass round to let's go to Big D. Uh, so, cheers, guys. Ian, Mark, James, and Josh. It's been a pleasure to meet you, Josh, by the way. And good luck with yeah, your, uh, your liquid. Guys, if you've not checked out this one out, this is my favourite, Blueberry Duffin. It's a blueberry muffin. Really good branding and really high-quality juices, so I recommend them all. Um, thanks, everybody, in chat. Happy birthday to Liz. Um, have a great weekend. And that's it. So, I'll hand that over to JP. I um like I say thank you um guys for being in chat. Um like I said, as usual, it, it, things do goes on well when people are talking. Um I want to say happy birthday to Liz. Um Jules, you um look after yourself, especially after how you've been going through. Um I want to apologize for my quality of the um the picture due to Wi Fi issues. However, hopefully I'll get that sorted out very soon. Um I want to thank um, Benny for hosting, um, <clears throat> plus the other two hosts um, that was with us, um, Ian and um, Danny, and thank you, Josh, for coming on. And I'll pass Thanks. it over to Benny. We'll pass it to Josh because he can say his goodbyes first, and then I'll. All right, then. I've got press. Well, you see, he's that way to me. He's that way to me. <laughs> that way to me. <laughs> right, so I'll pass it to you, Josh. Yeah, thank you everybody for your support, like everybody out there that has ever tried us, giving us a chance, and thanks for having us on the show. We really, really appreciate it. Very welcome. No problems, right? So, thank you everybody in chat. Liz, happy birthday. Uh, Jules, I hope you're getting better slowly but surely. But nice to have you on when you come back. Guys, thank you everybody in chat. It's been absolutely fantastic. Um, I know we blubbered a little bit and you can't understand me because I've talked too fast. Um, but it's been <laughs> we've had a lot to talk about. Josh, fantastic for you coming on, mate. Really enjoyed it. It's been good to talk to you. You're welcome back anytime you want to come on, mate. You know, if you've got any you know, want to promote anything when you get new juices out, then you know, give us a message, you can come on. Danny, always a pleasure to have you on, brother. Ian, same to you. JP, always a pleasure to have you. It's not been that bad, aren't you? Internet. You know, I usually have Danny complaining about it, but I've got you complaining about it tonight. So, <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for being in chat. Thank you, everybody, for joining our show. This has been the Northern Union Vape Show, and we'll see you all later. Bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you, Dan Barden, by the way. Bye. Very, very.